And if we mess up on those, uh, usually we can uh, just go back in and redo it. But you know... Except we're talking for now, so...
see this one will be a better warm up. With this one, uh, it, it's a little more difficult because uh, when we have to go fight that, the guys on the inner circle, they really won't move. And unfortunately, uh, they, they do a lot of uh, um, multiple attacks. For their guys, so they back up each other a lot. First time through, I really wouldn't bother getting either of them, but um, yeah, when I come back in here and I do a little bit of level, gr uh, level grinding, um, I'll also be trying to get this one up to uh, rank S. I don't know if I'm going to, but um, you might want to have Nagi or Nagi or whatever um, around uh, to get the. Uh, treasure thing on the left side of the map but to do that um, we gotta open up uh, open up the space and uh, keep at least one of the guys alive so We got to beat all the guys here, so.
Let's do this. Your first time through here, uh, because it, it's gonna take us a little bit to get them all the way. Uh, I suggest uh, going in and kind of grouping each side together, so. Commencing assault. Yeah, but I take an extra turn or two. Let's go. Well then. I was thinking I was close now, but... Are you ready?
Well then. I think I'm taking a little too much damage. That one opened up our... Let's go. The one on the left if I was going for it.
Yeah, that's one of the main reasons that I got a little lowered rank was because uh, I hit my guy too, so. So far, my two leading candidates for, uh, the person that's going to betray me first is, uh, going to be Nagi and Yoko. It's really going to suck if I go with that, um, with Yoko, unfortunately, so. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm just wrong on that. Not that I can do anything about it right now, so. 